Welcome to the World Telecommunication Development Conference, WTDC, here in Kigali, Rwanda, where I got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Doreen Bogdan-Martin, who is the Director of ITU's Telecommunications Development Bureau. Doreen, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, since we were last at a WTDC in Buenos Aires in Argentina, which is in 2017, uh, it doesn't, doesn't uh, time fly, the world has changed considerably. And I'd like to ask you, what, what makes this WCDC different, and, and, and if so, um, tell us why. Well, since the last WTDC, of course, the world faced a global pandemic where practically overnight the whole world went online. Um, and I think um, we understood, and the global community understood, the importance of connectivity uh, and what it meant to be on the wrong side of the digital divide. Um, so that big focus on connectivity has been recognized by all countries and of course here we are in Kigali trying to bring connectivity to the 2.9 billion people that have never been connected. Uh, so I think this WTDC uh, will be remembered as, as historic, um, as different and as a conference that really has focused on, on people and trying to take new and innovative approaches to bringing connectivity to those that are unconnected. It's opened up all sorts of strands here too, and before WCDC even started, there was a, a palpable energy amongst uh, youth, and uh, uh, perhaps you could tell us about that, and, and, and when it did start, all sorts of things like Partner to Connect, but I'll, I'll let you tell us all about it. Uh, well, again, with the, the 2.9 billion not connected, um, we've understood that, of course, those 2.9 billion are some of the hardest to connect uh, in landlocked developing countries, in LDCs, and in small island developing states. And we have really focused on what we need to do to get those um, hardest to connect connected. Um, and that was the inspiration and the motivation behind Partner to Connect. Uh, we launched Partner to Connect last September on the margins of the UN General Assembly. Uh, we focused on connecting people, empowering communities, enabling digital ecosystems, and incentivizing investments. And over the course of several months, we developed uh, uh, a very uh, holistic um, action framework, and we invited the global community to come forward uh, and not make policy statements, but really make concrete commitments and pledges. And over the past couple of weeks, we went from a few pledges to more than 370, and it's still growing. Uh, and those commitments have an estimated value of some $24 billion. So uh, I think it's really been groundbreaking and to be able to sort of shift the dialogue and make it action focused has been tremendous. And of course, part of that is um, youth and bringing young people to the table. I think this WTDC will go down in history as being one of the most inclusive, uh, inclusive of all voices, inclusive of women, and, and of course inclusive of, of youth. We had a Generation Connect, our first Generation Connect uh, Global Youth Summit that preceded this conference. We brought together more than 500 young people uh, from a, more than 110 countries physically here in Kigali, and there were thousands more that joined online, and those young people uh, came to discuss things like cybersecurity, like privacy, online protection, um, ICT policy making, digital entrepreneurship, the things that young people care about. Um, and as an older person, uh, I think my big takeaway was young people really want not to inherit their future, but to be part of, of building it. And you even had their voice come over into WTDC by having a youth uh, representative uh, making a, a opening remarks at the opening ceremony here. Exactly, in front of uh, His Excellency President Kagame, our young youth leader came to talk about the Youth Summit and to deliver the outcomes of, of that summit. And we've been thrilled that so many countries have kept young people on their delegations throughout this WTDC. Now, Talking about the opening ceremony, in the WTDC opening remarks, you made a reference to one of your favorite movies, It's a, it's a Wonderful Life, uh, which I have to admit is also one of my all-time greats too. Now, it's not often that a fictional film is referenced in a speech at a telecommunications event, so if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to uh, ask you to talk a little bit about it here again. It, so it is one of my favorite movies. I mean, who doesn't love uh, Jimmy Stewart? 
um, I think the big takeaway and the reason that I use this in the opening ceremony is because it's, we have to remember that even the smallest actions that we take, the smallest gestures, the smallest decisions that we take can have a huge impact uh, on our own lives and of course on the lives of others. So my message to, to delegates was really let's come together, we can take small steps, but let's try together to transform the world. It's a wonderful life. The character is able to be taken back in, in, in time and see what would happen if they, if they weren't there. Yeah. So Exactly. And that, that's what we want, to be able to look back in a few years and look at all of the things that, that, we, that we started, that we innovated, and that we were able to bring um, positive changes to the ICT ecosystem and connect those unconnected. Talking about positive changes, there's also been the network of women here as well. There have been events going on. I think it's even a, uh, there's been a lunch, a breakfast. Uh, there's also the, the, uh, the uh, walk, walk to connect as well. So to tell us a little bit about that as well. Well, that's another first for WTDC. It's the first time that we've had such a network of women. Um, the purpose of the network of women is to encourage more uh, women's participation, not just in the conference, but in all of the work of the ITUD. Uh, and to encourage women to come forward in terms of leadership positions in the conference, in our study groups, in our advisory groups. Uh, and I think the, the results have, have been very clear. We went from, I think, 26% women's participation at our last conference, we're now at 37%, and we actually have parity in terms of the conference leadership. Um, so that's a big achievement and the other piece of the network of women is the mentoring opportunities uh, and so we've had um, tremendous um, interest from those that wanted to be mentors and those that wanted to be mentees um, and i think we're going to continue that because it's it's been um, very much welcomed by the membership and as you said of course we we joined forces men and women together um, came uh, very early Sunday morning and we had a fabulous walkathon to raise the importance of connectivity uh, and the importance of bridging the digital gender gap. We managed to get uh, delegates up at 6.30 in the morning to, to be, be ready for the 7.30 start, yeah. so, uh, which is an achievement in itself, I have to say, but you're quite right. There were men and women in great numbers walking uh, through the streets of Kigali, which happened to be also a time of car-free uh, car morning as well, which uh, coincided very well, and uh, it was an extremely well-attended and successful event. So uh, definitely, I think, uh, I'm making great strides in, in terms of gender parity and women's involvement uh, um, coming to the forefront of, of people's thoughts here. Finally, I would just like to ask you, how would you like this WCDC to be remembered? As groundbreaking, uh, transformative, innovative, action-focused, and of course, people-centered. Well, I'm sure it will be all of those things and more. Well, Doreen Bogdamato, thank you very much for joining me in the studio. And uh, of course, we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you.